And I'll tell you one of the things I love about, about this gray hair, man, do I have stories and I have experience and I have opportunities and I know things and understand things that people who don't have this gray hair could not even know about. I don't care how much they Google, you know, they're not gonna know. <laughs> the things that I know and the things that you know, right? That's why I love this group. I love this group because, you know, the experience that you all have, the collective experience that you have at 40 plus already is palpable. Now, when you add to that, the training and your willingness to learn and grow in new areas and the new things, that makes you unstoppable. You just have to, you have to embrace it and not, and not be stopped by people who think differently um, because they don't know yet. You know, they they don't they don't know what you bring to the table until you bring it. So stop holding it back. You know, don't feel guilty about your your talent your, and your abilities, um, because the the more you hide, there's a I hate to go biblical on you guys, but there's a Bible saying that if you hide your light under the bushel, you know who's going to see it. <laughs> you know, uh, it's just really not going to happen, right? So no one's going to know that you have the gifts and talents that you have unless you figure out how to articulate it and how to share it. And you can't do that like, oh, I, if you're great at something, you can't just pounce on people with your greatness. You have to you do exactly what I told you. Find out where they are first, you know, you pay attention to them where they are first. And then over a period of, of it doesn't take a long time, but you have to take those steps. You can take those steps in 15 seconds. You can take those steps in, in four years, but you have to take those steps and keep taking those steps one through three over and over again in order to build the kind of relationships that you want to be able to get because you're not going to be able to sustain relationships that are built on just transaction. Let me say that again. There are people you've gotten relationships with and they've just been transactional relationships and they're not going to go forward and be anything more than that if you don't do the steps that I just mentioned. 